Any ideas, anybody, on why her mouth would kind of, I guess, what would you call that? It kind of just melts together, but you get this straight edge line where you see like a quarter of her mouth missing. But when you look up at her fingers, you see how you get that sawtooth effect? And I notice now, ever since after 2020, when they want to block out someone's face identity, they use these geometric patterns, the pixelation. It's very odd. Now, this is only from a couple weeks back when she had her powwow with D'Souza. He finally surfaced. And, you know, they're, they're at it, you know. The secret space program, super soldiers, UAP disclosure, on and on. You know, they've got some inside scoop, folks. They are in contact with these whistleblowers who nobody knows who they are. They're always anonymous. I don't know if, if you noticed that. But yet, they still seem to do okay. Maintain homes, bank accounts, walking around, nice new clothes, money in their pocket. Not being stalked and harassed. But it, it's just funny, once they kind of go off script, in her case, she gets really animated. Starts waving around her hands. But we don't need to focus on her. Now... This one's in knee, de knee deep, <laughs> knee deep with these conspiracies. My friend, my pal, the Draco Ditz, Carrie Cassidy. And she's, she's been uploading some videos. I know she don't like me. But what happens is, this is from about maybe two weeks ago. She started to mock God, the Holy One of Israel. Actually, mo you know, mocking the Holy One of Israel, using the word God. And, you know, you'd have to listen. But what happens is she starts to go haywire. And she starts fidgeting, having to kind of brush her hair and touch the back of her head. But you get this weird transparency on her arm. And that starts... And then, it, it, it's, it's just weird. Her, her eyes start to flutter. And what ends up happening is, she gets that kind of splotchy effect. Where you kind of see this electromagnetic distortion start. But when her eyes are fluttering, what happens is, they go right back up into her head and you, you just see this weird effect and now she holds together really good I'm, I'm shocked you know she's one of those ones where it's hard to I guess she's been doing this so long that hey she's got us all fooled you know it, it, again and now here you know after it's all said and done she's doing her best Al Jolson Belting out a couple verses of Mammy for us. It's just, you know... It's weird how they have all these insiders with the secret space program and these whistleblowers, right? But you never see their faces. Some of them you do. She gets these guys on there. But it's amazing, you know? They're all look, they all look like they're doing fine. And not one peep about these Satanists. But see, it all goes wrong for her when she starts to mock God. Now, here's someone that believes in God. And this is really, really strange because, uh, what was it? It's now maybe going on three weeks ago. She made this video. And this was the moment she was telling us how they were hitting her with direct energy between her eyes. Now, she's done this before. And look, she's one of the 144,000. I mean, they got this poor woman. 
She's moving from state to state, town to town. The gang stalkers constantly on her ass, stealing her stuff. Isn't it amazing how some of these so-called targeted individuals... And, and remember, that ship has sailed a long time ago, in case you didn't know. It was a big farce. One aspect of, of, I guess, trying to mitigate the testimony of a satanic ritual abuse survivor. But what happened was, is her mouth kind of it, it, it jerked sideways. I don't know if any of you heard me talk about talking out of the side of your mouth. And look, you know what? When humans are excited, they get animated, and maybe their personalities, they, they'll they make funny faces. But this was at the moment, she kind of, I look, I don't know what to tell you. She started to to really serve up some whoppers with this directed energy thing. Her mouth goes sideways, very difficult to catch the worst of it. And then... As we all know, they start fidgeting, just like the Draco Ditz carry. They got a she, in her case, she does the same thing with her hair, always fidgeting with her hair. But see how all of a sudden her skin gets splotchy? I, I look, I don't know. We don't say, you know, whether bad, good, indifferent. I'm just pointing out peculiarities. It does look, I mean, you know, and this this is, you know, you got to remember that happened, then this happened, and it, it, it got worse. It got worse. Now, I don't know if you can see the little peeper, but I might not be doing a good job here. And look, I always support, I support Jubilina. Now, this is, this is kind of interesting. Right here, it looks, I don't know what that is. We can't be sure. But again, you, you see when she starts to lose it, the skin gets all splotchy. The electromagnetic distortion starts to kick in. And she's another one that, that kind of holds together pretty good. But it's just something I don't know. I don't know. If you can see that now what's interesting is she immediately pulled this video after she tugged at all the heartstrings of her subscribers saying how they hit her with directed energy all night her eyes did look red but not one mark I don't know if uh, any of you understand how directed energy works if you're being hit by microwave you're going to, you know, have some telltale sign, red marks, rash, maybe a, a boil, the skin being irritated, you know? But it's just, man, there's something about it. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Now, you know, I don't get Richie. And look, Richie's been warning all of us for the past, I'd say, month, man. He's he's letting us know again that the shit's hitting the fan, that these Satanists, they can't keep up their Ponzi scheme. They can't keep buying everybody off. But here he is the other week, and I don't know why. He he put a, a, he one of his videos from over a year ago, because he even said the date. Showing us how when he bugs out, what he does. But see, even Richie, he, he started to, I guess, you know, it's the big fishing story, right? And one of the things I noticed now is this uh, double nostril effect. Where once they go haywire, it's like all of a sudden the, you have four nostrils. And this is really can get crazy, but even by his mouth, too, it just looks weird. I don't get this. What, what, what do I know, people? I'm just a dumb satanic ritual abuse survivor down here in Mexico because I got ran out of the United States. They, they have these people bought off in their back pocket.
with this community watch snitch network when they've all been hiding in their houses their whole life from the cartel. Some of them ostensibly work for the cartel, but now these neighborhood snitches, they don't even understand. They work for these American Nazi, Edomite, Freemason, baby raping, sodomite Satanist. They don't get that. They just know some corrupt authority, some corrupt Mexican authority came and told them that I'm a big boogeyman and I need to be watched after. And you, you would be shocked who gets involved from the rat face granny to the young teenager that got knocked up by one of the local stalkers in the neighborhood to Jehovah Witnesses. You'd be shocked, folks. But see, Richie... I think Richie's on to something. He knows hell's, hell on earth is coming. That's why for the past couple years, he's been blowing all his uh, trust fund money, I assume. Just gallivanting all over the United States, visiting his subscribers. And uh, I don't know if you heard the story how his truck got broken into and they stole... A shitload of cash that he was going to give to some of his subscribers. And, you know, it's weird that this guy is pretty intelligent. You would think that he would have hid that cash somewhere to make it impossible for some low-life dirtbag to bust into his truck and find it. But, you know, what do I know? So, it's very odd. You know, with the... The old Cyclops eyeball. And you know Richie, he's a sidewinder. You know that. And just, just remember that when you're looking in to the eyes of someone and there's no, no pupils, no iris, maybe no soul, who knows? Who knows? Right? We don't know. We don't know who's on the up and up. Now, see, th th this was my buddy, Jay Kennison. Up in San Diego, the feds went to him and his mom and told him their lies. And he sold me out. He, 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 he wouldn't come clean with me. And you know what? For over the last year we spent together, we argued about it. But see, he played stupid. Remember, you know, when once once you join the dark side, right? You, you the first thing you do is you learn how to lie and then play stupid. Now Jay's doing pretty good. They after after see after they got rid of me and ran me out of San Diego, and they they did a number on him. He got his promotion to Morgan Stanley. Doing really good. But see, there's one problem. His handler, his mom, who was also one of my handlers, one of many, they're all cursed. Because see, they got involved with the wrong person. And it doesn't matter when I woke up to all this. The point is, the feds went to him. He knows what the lies are. He'd be one of the first people I subpoena, along with a bunch of others up in San Diego. But see, there is no legal system for me. There's no lazy lying lizard in the United States that would be willing to help me because they would risk their life, folks. Do you understand how this works? Now, I wanted to say this last time, but th this is Ravi Shankar. Some of you may be familiar with him. Uh, Jay... Jay was his financial consultant. Now, I'll give props to Kenin again because this is from one of his videos a while back. But I tell you, you know what was funny? Before I had left San Diego, Jay had given me one of his autobiographies, even signed. It wasn't signed to me, but I guess he had some from his, you know, sitting around on the bookshelf. And Jay gave me one. And I actually, I left it behind. I, I forgot it. But it's just, you know, it's really, really odd that when you see that and their eyeballs are all glazed over, 
<laughs> you don't have to think much about it, people. So, there you go. I was in a funny mood, and I figure I would do this. But kids, don't try this at home, all right? And listen to your mommies and daddies. Stay away from the Satanists.